Welcome to It's a Piece of Cake, I'm Lima and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I made these plaster figurines. Now I did this during lockdown and I know it's not cake related but I thought if you do have silicon or plastic moulds this is something fun you can do with your children because my children absolutely loved making them and it's very very easy to make. So you will need a plaster kit, um, you can get these from uh, lots of art and craft stores and any brand will work because I've made it with about three different brands and they all kind of give you the same result. So you just have to follow the instructions on the back and the packets that I pretty much used said one cup of water to two cups of powder ratio. And then all you do is put the water, the powder and whisk it in till you have no lumps and bumps so you have a really smooth plaster. So I'm going to keep whisking that through so the powder's all um, melted, kind of dissolved away and there is no powder at all. But you have to work really fast because this um, plaster sets very, very quickly. So you try and um, whisk it all so it's really smooth and then you're going to need your mould. Now you can use, um, here is an actual plaster mould. So I already had some plaster moulds. I had bought them a long time ago from a cake decorating shop thinking they were um, cake moulds. But they end up being plaster moulds. So I've got these ones to use. Um, so if you have the plaster moulds, obviously use that. But in saying that you can, I will show you also how you can use them on silicon and plastic moulds as well. So you can fill the plaster all the way to the top if you wanted to. That's if you just wanted to um, have the children paint it. Or I'm going to do this one first, which is like a digging up one. So I'm going to hide things inside the plaster and then I'm going to put some more plaster on top and then give them some tools to kind of dig these out and when they did this it was fantastic because it took them about a good two hours to get everything out and they were so excited so that's one way of keeping them really busy obviously like I said you can just do a solid one which I'll show you later and that's just for painting so once you've got everything you want to hide inside there just put some more of it on top and as you can already see before the plaster was quite runny and now it's already setting so it just shows you how fast you have to work with it for it because otherwise it'll set. So once you've got enough to cover all your figurines on top, then you can just use your fingers to kind of neaten up all the sides and the ends, and that will just give you a better, cleaner finish when you've um, unmolding it. So now I'm going to leave it to set completely overnight, so it's nice and firm and completely dry, and then to release it, you just gently press onto your mold, and then it pops right out. You can use your fingers to clean up any of those excess thin bits of the plaster that are on the corners. And then if you want a really neat finish, then just use a knife to just scrape away any of that excess plaster on the sides. And that just gives you a really clean, nice, neat finish. So I'm just going to use the knife and just thin away all those thin bits that were on the sides. I'm just going to cut that away. And then I was left with this really cute, very, very simple T-Rex. And you can't really see in the camera, but it had all the definitions. And once my son painted it, it looked absolutely incredible. So here I'm repeating the exact same process as I did earlier, but I'm using a different brand. And I was I, I purchased three different types of brands just to see if it kind of gives me all the same result or does the brand vary and it doesn't give you the same result. So with this brand, it's at the exact same ratio, one cup of water, two cups of powder and whisk it in. So at first when I did use this one, I found it was very, very runny. And I thought maybe it might not work, but it worked perfectly fine. So all of the brands that I used gave me the exact same result. Just make sure you've whisked it thoroughly so all that powder is dissolved into the water. And with this one here, now I'm going to use them with silicon moulds. Now I've got a lot of silicon moulds, so I was interested to see if it was going to work in the silicon moulds because then I could make plenty of them with my children at home. So I'm going to tap it away and I just want like a thin kind of plate on this one. So just a thin layer and that way it can be a nice big giant flower that my daughter can paint. So I'm just tapping it away and you have to tap it away so it kind of releases any of the air bubbles because the air bubbles will rise on top. So it's very, very important that you do tap it gently on the table just to release any of those air bubbles. So that is the one that I tried with the silicon mold. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to use a plastic mold now. Now the plastic molds that I've got, they're for chocolate, but I've not really used a lot of them. So I thought I'll just use some for art projects like this one. And this is a beautiful little vase with some flowers in there. 
So I'm going to put that straight into the plastic mold. And again, I was curious to see if the plaster would separate from the plastic mold or kind of does it kind of just stick onto it. If your plastic mold does is not level, um, use some paper towels or uh, cloth and just put it underneath it just to make it level because you don't want it to kind of be sinking on one side. So I'm going to add that paper towel there and let it dry like that. So try and get it as straight as you can. If you need to adjust the other side, add some more paper towel to get it flat. And then the last one I'm going to do is again a silicone mold, but I've got this really cute little mermaid and I've got some extra plaster left over, so I'm going to fill that mermaid in there. And then you can also, once you've got these plastered painted, this particular one I did end up using on a frame. So once it dried up, I end up um, using some hot glue gun and I stuck it on a corner of a frame and it looked really, really beautiful. So I'm going to keep pouring um, till I've got the nice cavity filled and then I'm going to leave these overnight to dry completely. The important thing is you do not try and release them before they have dried completely because the residue will be onto your mold and they won't come out nice and clean. So leave them overnight to completely dry. And then once they are dry, they'll be very, very easy to release from the mold because once you gently kind of put some pressure on the plastic mold or um, with the silicon molds, just move the mold around. Don't move the plaster so much around, but just move the mold around just to let some air go in there and it'll help release the um, plaster out of the molds. Uh, it was very, very easy to do. Um, unfortunately, with the camera, because they have used the white plaster and the camera is quite bright, you can't really see the detailing on the um, plaster. But whichever mold that you use, you're pretty much going to get that exact imprint on your plaster. So it was a really fun thing to do during lockdown. Um, it was easy. The kids loved doing it. And we've done it over and over again. I went through all the molds that I had. So we went through the plastic mold and the silicon molds. And we done a lot of them because these plaster um, packets, they're available pretty much in most hardware shops, in pretty much all art decorating stores. And it's so easy to use because you ju you've just got the powder and water. That's all you're going to do. And so many, um, like I did, I, I tested a lot of the brands just to make sure that the one that you use, it will work with. And pretty much everything that we used, it worked with them. So, um, yeah, during lockdown, we went through a lot of the molds. They did their names. We um, did so many different ones just let them dry and once they dried pop them out of the mold and it was time to paint them and it kept them extremely busy and they really enjoyed doing them so I hope you guys did enjoy this um just a simple quick fun tutorial on uh, other ways that you can use um cake molds that you might have at home um and in the future we'll be sharing quite a few other videos that we did do during lockdown that involved plastic and chocolate and silicon molds um, other than using it for cake decorating so if you did enjoy this video let me know in the comments below or give me a thumbs up thanks so much for watching and i hope you tune in to next tuesday where i'll upload another video